all four here on starboard is uh, Jim and and Danny and um, they had a good start they're at full speed on the line maybe a second late two seconds late for the start but conservative but who cares they were going at full speed and everyone else was pretty conservative and sure enough they're first of the windward mark so good start and they just kept the boat moving it's breezy and they've got plenty of weight in the boat to keep it flat and they did well and Matt Motler is right behind him. They had you know, a good start as well, not quite as good as Jim's. And Sean single-handed is just a hair over, overpowered and, and not surprisingly, he's healed a little more than normal and that's okay. And that's just kind of the way that crumbles, that cookie crumbles. He's the Vang on the, over the downwind. Added a little more Vang back on. And uh, he knows to ease the Vang because he didn't want to break the boom. But if you ease the Vang entirely, you have no leech tension, which is where your power is. And it's hard to know when you're in the boat, but that curvy leech is where you're spilling air. To the skipper's eye, it looks pretty good. But from here, it's easy to see there's not quite enough Vang on there. And uh, not criminal. I'd rather have a little ex little little undervanged than overvanged. All right. And they're going heading to a lured gate. Sean is aiming right at the right gate facing downwind. The other boats have sailed a little little bit high unnecessarily. So Sean here is sailing a little closer. Uh, to the rum line, I guess, and uh, it's probably going to close a couple boat lengths for that. Let's see how they do at the lured mark, lured gate.